Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. Now, when last we left off, we'd managed to uh, get away from uh, Khan, who was trying to kill us here, but there are many ways that we can die here. I managed to inadvertently show one of them off by not being uh, quick enough on the mark when it came to uh, using the uh, buzzer. And so, it's time to start lying. Because I'm sure if there's one thing that Khan won't be able to notice, it's when we're lying. Klausner? Who the hell's Klausner? I followed his trail here, as I believe did you. I never heard of this Klausner guy before. I just asked around about strangers and got lucky. Luck is a commodity that you are sorely pressed for now, Mr. Stobart. I have been watching you since you arrived in Marib. You have? I never noticed you. Precisely my point. You don't know what I know. Please, bear this in mind when answering my next questions. Now, where is Klausner? I'm sure he's going to believe us if we say right now that we don't know who he is. I mean, what's he gonna do? Shoot us? I'm telling you, I never heard of the man, and I don't know where he is. Now, if you're gonna kill me, just get it over with, because I've got a full itinerary. Very well. Oh, guess he will just kill us. Okay, so he'll shoot us if we lie at the beginning. But what if we tell the truth the first time, then we lie? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You wanna look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration, by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Let's lie here and say that he wasn't. No, nothing. So, why is this location important? What did the Templars hide here if not an artifact? That is a uh, good question. I don't know. Let's just pretend we uh, don't know anything. Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot. Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Performit lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. I'll take the running away in uh, absolute terror, please. Hey, look now. Don't kill me. I've got money. Maybe we can cut a deal. You disappoint me. Yep, he wasn't going to accept that. There is something else that we can do when presented with the situation of uh, having knocked Khan down to the ground with the buzzer and being given the option of jumping off the cliff to uh, escape in Ultar's truck. The option, of course, is that we could just stand there instead and do absolutely nothing. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. But first, we're going to have to get him onto the ground. <laughs> now, let's just stand here and wait. It probably won't be long. No, it wasn't. 
It should come as no surprise that standing perfectly still after you've knocked Khan to the ground results in you getting shot. But what if we actually try and run away in a different direction that isn't the cliff? Say, for instance, into that cave. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. But quickly, we must use the buzzer first. <laughs> and then, quickly into the cave! The same happens if you try and go the other way, too. There is one more thing that we can finally try and do. Once we actually get, um, Khan knocked down due to the buzzer, maybe we can go for his gun and turn the tables on him. Maybe we can start questioning him about what he knows. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. But first, we're gonna need to use this shocker. <laughs> Aha! Now let's get the gun! Uh-oh. Well, that didn't work, did it? Nope. We are dead. Very dead. And that is how you do not encounter Khan. I mean, you can actually uh, tell the truth the first time and then lie the rest of the uh, other two occasions, but there is only one way in the end to actually get away, and that is to use the buzzer and then jump off the cliff. Any other method pretty much just gets you killed. So. When we come back, folks, we shall continue as if we did tell the truth all the way, and then jump off a cliff. And that is the way you don't die! Yeah, I know, it doesn't sound like it when you actually just describe it, but it is the way you don't die. So, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.